Tonight will be different. They've been quiet for so long because they have a special job for me. This time, they want more than blood and severed flesh. Tonight they want fire and ash. They want a spectacle that will be remembered. I've listened to them for weeks, gathering all the ingredients. There's only one more thing I need, and in a few minutes, I'll have that too. I don't want to do this tonight. What they have planned, it's too much. It's too public. I told them, I don't want to get caught. But they don't care. They never listen to my complaints. Their only concern is that I do what they want. Because I'm the only one who can hear them. In my head. In my dreams. Dreams are the worst part. They come to me and they threaten me. They give me a little taste of what they'll do to me if I don't obey them. They cut me. They burn me. I wake up screaming. Sometimes with my sheets soaking with sweat, piss or blood. And things that make up their world. How long have things been like this? Has it been years? Months? I can't remember a time when I did not hear their ghostly whispers. Not that it matters. Time means nothing to them. As long as I exist, they will be here. This is your place? Geez, with that kind of cash, I thought you'd have some swanky apartment or house in the burbs or something. Oh well, at least it's dry. costume I swear I'm leaving.
What's that? That better not be no camera. My pimp will kill you if you try to take pictures of me. this, a little drop of that, they whisper into my mind's ear the instructions, give me their dark secrets, they won't tell me what it does, they want it to be a surprise. I don't want to do this, I am so tired. He killed a whore. Why isn't that enough? Why are they doing this to me? Stab me, horse. Thank you. 
This is what the potions did. Ripped my soul out of my body and placed it into hers. That is why I had to kill her first. All they wanted was the vacant body. My body should be safe here. This neighborhood has been abandoned and forgotten. No one has been here in years besides me and my victims. The plan is starting to make sense now. By using the horror's corpse as a vessel, I will escape death and capture. After all, if I die tonight, and they would lose their plaything. I don't want to do this. Just wish they would let me die. On my way downtown, I am briefly overcome with a sense of mourning for the hooker. She was very beautiful. Maybe in another life, we could have been friends. We need some help over here! Somebody get a stretcher over here! Last night seems like a nightmare. I can only remember brief flashes. The way you can only remember bits and pieces of a dream. No matter how vivid it was seconds before. quiet this morning. Usually after a kill or two they buzz with excitement, but today I haven't heard anything. Alright, uh, so the whole city is alive. We're talking the explosion in Rock downtown last night. We just got and confirmed reports that it was an intentional attack, not a leaky gas main like we previously thought. Eyewitness accounts stated around 2 a.m. an unidentified woman walked into the emergency room at St. Josephine and detonated a large amount of explosive material. Authorities are just beginning to piece together what happened and why. Stay tuned for more details as they come to us. That's terrible. Why would anybody do that? Telling the world's full of deranged people. They're laughing now. Those demons in my head have heard the misery of the city, and it is like wine to them. This, they promise, is only the beginning. There'll be more work for me now. Always more work. Thank you.